Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in this video we are going to learn how to set up Chorus in the Django Rest Framework and React.js. So for this every video I have also created a blog post on my uh, website that is codelearners.com. I have added my link to this link to this particular post and my website link in the description below. If you want any, if you want any reference and all, uh, because all my uh, code and snippets all I paste it here. Only. So I have created a uh, Django Rest Framework app. I have also installed and configured it. So here is the, how the output looks like. So if you go to the default index URL, then you can see that there is a API root, and here if you if you hit this particular URL, uh, you'll get a list of users in the users key. So what the main purpose of this uh, this video is to show you how you can set up the chorus and uh, you, uh, and as an example I am going to show you how you can uh, retrieve the list of these users and display it in your React application. So Django REST framework recommends a package called Chorus Headers, uh, which will be which will be which is a good compatible for a Django REST framework uh, in dealing with the uh, chorus. Just install it by using this command. Since I have already installed it, it will show me as a requirement is already satisfied. So now I'll just run my project as it is. In my settings.py file, we need to include the chorus uh, below the rest framework. So here I have included the chorus headers. Uh, then we need to do certain settings to configure these chorus headers. At the top, I will uh, mention a constant called chorus allow all origins so this will be by default false if you set it to then it will uh, allow all the origins to access the resources and if you want to allow a particular uh, set of urls then you need to mention this in the chorus allowed origins which, uh, which is a list and here you need to specify the url also so here i have included my uh, url from react.js with the including the port number so this is the only thing you need to do so here I am in my react app and I have just uh, have created a list called users and set users which is a state and I want to loop over all the users uh, which from this Django application which is retrieved using the simpatch API and I want to display in my react website. Uh, the first thing I need to do is I need to configure the URL here. So this is, a, this is my Django uh, API URL. And then I in the init function I need to set up the uh, set up the F fetch API that will retrieve the data from the from the Django server. The first is the full URL. Full URL basically includes the uh, route that I want to access. And uh, also note that you you, you compulsory need to add the forward uh, forward slash or else you may face a chorus error for this also. Then I'll just I'll say I'll send a get request. And then I'll get the JSON data, and I'm going to display this. So I'm going to head over to my React tab. If I refresh, here you can see the data from the from our is going to a Django application and returning us all the users. And suppose if I remove this slash. You may, you may see that there is a chorus, chorus error blocked by uh, chorus policy even though you have set up the chorus there. So now uh, I'll do a if condition here uh, to check whether the result users has the items or not. If it has the items then I will set and um, I will put it inside the uh, set user state and then I will uh, use a HTML uh, UL tag. I loop over it. And I will just display each and every one with the username. Now you can see that uh, using the Django, using a React application, we can access, we can easily access all the resources from the or Django or from our API. So this was all about the video. If you like my channel, do subscribe to it. Uh, thank you.